Without Sorry. the mic, I'm gonna use the mic to sing into you, by the way. That's okay. church this morning, our Sunday school hour here on October, what is it, 23rd, amen? 
Um, we are into the four, 43rd Sunday of 2022. And I love that song, The Only Real Peace. And that's part of our Sunday school lesson this morning. We ask you to pray for all those out there this morning, and those uh, traveling and those that's going through lots of situations, and uh, praying for the service today as well. We thank you for tuning in. Um, our focus is Jesus has not left us alone. We have the Holy Spirit. Amen. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? You know that down inside. Like Dr. Bill Martin said, you know down in your knower. <laughs> down in your knower. And, uh, but that's our Bible basis is today is John 14, 15 through 29. Follow along sometimes I talk too quick. But God bless you for being here. <laughs> uh, memory verse is John 14, 16. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever. John 14, 16. Talking about the Holy Spirit is with us forever. And I'm going to read the scripture this morning. It's John 14, 15 through 29. If you love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not. Neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwells with you and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more, but ye see me, because I live, ye shall live also. But at that day, ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is, is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved by my Father. And I will love him and will manifest myself to him. Judas saith unto to him, not Iscariot, Lord, how is it that thou hath wilt manifest thyself unto us and not unto the world? Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and he will come unto him and make our abode with him. We, he that loveth me, not keepeth not my sayings, and the word which he hears not mine, but the Father's which sent me. The things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you, but the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance. Whatsoever I have said unto you, peace, I leave with you. My peace, P-E-A-C-E, -E, I give unto you, not as the world giveth, but I, Jesus, unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If you love me, you would rejoice, because I said, I go unto the Father, for my Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it come to pass, that when it is come to pass, you might believe. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Amen. I love that. Peace as the world gives. I love that word. P-E-A-C-E. -E. And we'll tell you a little uh, something that's happened that's gone on here in our world. Uh, not too many days ago, the Russian invasion continues. We've heard about this. If you watch any of the news, you've heard some of it. Um, and nowhere in Ukraine seems safe. That's what I've been hearing. Not even 167 miles away. That's pretty far um, from the fighting. Earlier this month, uh, Liza Dmitriha, if I pronounce this correctly, a little four-year-old girl with Down syndrome. This is so awful. Um, what happened uh, was playing big girl in the park in the city of Venetia. Pushing her own stroller and smiling up at her mommy in a video posted to social media. Um, photos were out from hours later show the stroller on its side. This is horrible. Mangled and bloody, marking the spot where Liza was killed by a Russian cruise missile that destroyed the medical center nearby. This is a large medical center, by the way. The peace the world gives, assuring families that being far away from the battlefield will keep them safe is not real peace, is it? It's not. They said there were 23 dead, maybe more, I don't know. 
the mother of this little Liza was in a critical condition. Um, just pray for all that are involved and that this will end. Amen. Because war is awful. It is really awful. But we're going to pray for those folks in Ukraine. Rush all about that peace will come. Amen. Peace of the Lord gives. He only gives us that peace no matter what. That's why I want to sing that song. I love that. I really do. He really does. The writer of that song said it right. But on the night that Jesus was to be betrayed, you read your scriptures, it'll tell you all you need to know. He promised that though he, through he himself was going away from his disciples for a while, they would see him again. That's really incredible. You're going to see me again. We have loved ones that have gone on before us. We will see them again. You know where they are if they know the Lord. But he says here, better yet, he would come to them in the form of a helper or an advocate, the spirit of truth. So he would be in them and they in him forever. The Holy Spirit brings the peace that Jesus carried inside him. And no act of war, disease, or death can ever separate those. Nothing. Who believe in him from the peace that he gives, no matter what you're going through. Because a lot of us going through a lot of crazy stuff. The world is crazy. <laughs> but he gives you that only real peace. He's a comforter. No matter what you're going through, praise him no matter what you're going through. Even when it's good or bad, praise him no matter what. Because God hears us. He's always there for us no matter what. Um, have some questions here. A couple questions. What has been your strongest reaction to the war in the Ukraine? I know a family, a dear lady named Patsy Blanchard, she's gone on with the Lord now, and she ministered there to the Ukraine as a missionary. She loved those people. Her face would just light up when she talked about them, you know, how she loved them and how innovative they were and just wonderful folks. This was a long time ago, not many years ago, but enough. But I just appreciated what she spoke and what she did for the Lord on that. But for me, pray every day, you know, hour. For these uh, precious people in the Ukraine and Russia, all that's involved, because it's terrible either way, it's awful, The peace will come no matter what. Um, other question, when has human or earthly peace failed you? Oh, <laughs> be an adult, <laughs> you will see those things happen many times. Myself, I'm sure as many of us, all of us listening and tuning in. But I go to the Father, our Heavenly Father, for his peace that he only gives, and it's so true. Um, it really it really does. I was looking at, we were, Dave and I, out of cash, and I went up to the Humpback Bridge there in Covington, Virginia. Beautiful place. Perfect day yesterday. All the fall uh, leaves and trees just changing color. It's just a beautiful time. Perfect weather. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Wasn't too windy or freezing or anything. It's actually, Jack, is all you need. It was wonderful. So we rode up that way, and enjoyed the day and walked around the uh, humpback bridge and people go up there and they ride on all anywhere they can <laughs> it's all wooden bridge it's old bridge it's very old and i can't remember all the age and things but it's wonderful to go there in the summertime a lot of the people go there and jump off the side of this a big uh, river creek kind of thing it's going down under this bridge wooden bridge and the kids are jumping in there and adults it's a great place to take your kids and family or you go there and picnic it's just wonderful and it's very simplistic there. And uh, so we walk around and get all these, like, I love so-and-so forever. You know, forever, Jay and Jay, or Jay and Anna, whoever. You know, <laughs> all through the place. And it's just amazing uh, how people, from 1973, we found some of those sketches in the walls on the wood. Like them old trees we used to write, you know. Donna and David forever, you know. <laughs> All those things that maybe you may have done. And uh, in school, we did it on the clipboard. You know, we'd write all that stuff on the clipboard. But we went there, and I've seen all these different things on there with people's names or family of somewhere from New York was there. I thought that was pretty cool. You know, names from 1976. Some as of the same day, yesterday's date. You know, they wrote in marker. And uh, some pretty unique ones on there, too. But I'm thinking, saying forever, you know, and you sit and wonder, did these people make it? Were they, you know, married 30-some years? Dave and I have our name carved somewhere in there. We're just too old to remember where it is. So, <laughs> and, but we said, we know we put it there almost 30-some years ago. 37. 
37 years ago. It didn't really matter, but it's all okay. But it was, you know, you wonder about the failures and the, the good and the bad, as they say. And you look back and you think, wow, yeah, but the Lord never fails. He says that. He never. He, he hears our prayers. He knows what we're going through. He went through all of that himself for us. And you look, you give it to God, and he'll give you some peace. He'll help you. You'll sleep a lot better, too. Just give it to him. God, it's yours. <laughs> I'm going to go to sleep and get you some rest. But God is good no matter what. Go to him anytime. He will hear you. He may. He always answers our prayers, but he may say, yes, no, or wait. You know, just trust him. Trust him no matter what. Last question. Have you felt the peace of the Lord, and have you experienced it lately? That's a good question. <laughs> um, yes, daily, I say. When I go to him in thought and prayer, uh, we must do this. Make it a habit. God wants to spend time with you. He loves you that much. He wants to be. He wants. He wants to be with you. And I know you want to be with him. Just talk to him, even if you're not sure what to say. He knows. Just say it. He's best friend. Just as closer than a brother. He just knows everything. This is what the scriptures tells us. He says, "But we must do this. Spend some time in prayer with him. He hears our prayers and answers them. Sometimes it's yes, no, or wait, as I was saying. But okay, that's okay." Heaven Father, he does answer, as I was saying. So the um, key is faith and know that he is your father. He's in control no matter what, big or small. I don't know if you got crazy people you work with or <laughs> situations at school, you work, school work. It's hard sometimes. But you can lean on the Lord no matter what, and he will look after you no matter what. So peace I leave with you today and knowing that... Um, the word gives you peace. God's word gives you peace no matter what. And um, he gives us the Holy Spirit to comfort us and gives us strength to guide us. And lean on him no matter what, and you will truly be blessed. And I thank you for tuning in on this 23rd of October, our Sunday school hour. And I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. God bless you for tuning in and listening to me. And, and uh, keep each other, each other in prayer, please. Thank you, God.